Okay, so this is my second video in uh, in Corel CAD. Now, now you notice it's a wide screen, and I explained it in the first video, so that that I'm wanted to be become white, so that I'm my feeling of that I'm in a graphic software. I'm like in Corel Draw, that's why I made it white. And also, if you I made this disappear so you just click on this one here click on X if you want to activate the property bar like that now we don't need to do it for this uh, video so now the objective here is we're going to um, recreate the Twitter logo and uh, using Corel CAD it's Corel CAD I'm not using Corel draw here now I like I really really like the option of insert and referencing image. So in it's like in Corel Draw when you have a low resolution image or logo and then you want to recreate that so that it's a vector image so that once you enlarge it in a large format printer uh, or printing, it would not be pixelated. So that's in Corel CAD, it's the same insert reference image. So reference image, I'm going to look for my, my reference image here. Um, okay, this is my document here. Okay, so Twitter and then click OK. And the supported files for the insert image are like Windows, Bitmap, JPEG, PNG. Okay, so I'll click on this one and click on Open. Now once you click on Open, it's going to ask you actually if the name that's the name of the file name then a full path i'm not really familiar with this one yet but you know we'll just leave it like that this one i am familiar because the insertion point is specify um so that's x y z so zero 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 which means the origin and if you look, click uh, if you look at this one it's x y right so that's the origin so when we insert it that would go there and then we'll just click the scale factor to one. That's okay too. Actually, if you make it two here, it's gonna be double the size. Let's see how it's gonna, gonna do. Okay. And then rotation, you can also make it 90 degrees. We'll just make it zero so it won't, I mean, it would look like that. And then click okay, there. You notice it went to zero, zero. Now I'm going to recreate this one here and uh, yeah, as you notice, it's pixelated. Okay. Now, uh, first of all, we are, let's use layers here. Layers, it's also in, like in Corel Draw, you can use layers. What I'll do here, I'll, uh, zero is always in there because that's basically a default layer. So what I'll do, click on new here, and I'll make this our Twitter image. Twitter image, so that's one layer, right? And I'm also going to make a new one, which is mm, vector. I'm just gonna put their vector, so which is which is our drawing. Okay. And then, okay, so I'll make the Twitter uh, line color doesn't matter. Let's just make it black. So then I click OK here. Now this one here, uh, okay, so I'm gonna click on this, I'm gonna select this one. Oh, okay, so that one, we're going to move it to the Twitter image layer, okay. Just gonna go quick here, but, cause this is, this is, uh, this video is not a tutorial, it's just you know, my experience in using Corel CAD. I'm going to go to my vector uh, layer okay, so that I can start doing it. And what I can do, I can lock the Twitter image layer. Uh, so if I click on lock here so that I won't accidentally move it, because okay, that's only my tracing image, right? And I click OK. okay. So you notice I can't delete the Twitter image, even though I click on Twitter image here. I can't delete it. Let's go back to my vector. Okay. Now, analyzing this uh, Twitter logo, uh, I know I can make a circle here. 
Okay, I'll make a circle from here. There. Okay, it's gonna move that over this side. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Okay, we can zoom in. Okay, let's say that one there. Escape. So that's the one. I'll make it bigger some more. Good. Okay. Now, because my idea here is I'm going to copy this circle, put it here, and put it over this side. So I go to my copy tool, which is this one here. Copy command window says specify entities or specify the object to copy. I click on this one, then hit enter. It's just saying that, yes, that's the one. And then I'll move this one from this center point. So that's one copy and another copy here. Perfect. And you hit escape to end the command. Now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a line from here, going here and going up, right, to the quadrant of this circle. So I'm going to click on my line tool and I go look for my quadrant, which is this one here, quadrant point. Click there and click here, which is the quadrant. That's quadrant point. And then there, it's going to snap. You see that white lines there? That's like a guide that I'm in. I'm 90 degrees going down. So I click there and then I click and then hit escape. Perfect. I'm going to do the same thing in here. So I'm going to click on my line, quadrant. Where are you quadrant? That's the quadrant. And I'm going to make a line. See if I want to reference that point here, I'm just going to move there. I don't know if you see if you can see the screen at uh, the line the screen but there that's the inference point click and then go back here I'm gonna go look for the quadrant which is that one I'm going to look for that line there there you go and then move here and click there quadrant escape Okay, so now this one here. Okay, so this is a little bit complicated, but what I'll do here is I'm going to make a line which is quadrant here. See that line there? The white line. I'm just gonna wait for the other line and click and quadrant there. Escape, very nice. So I have that and everything is intersecting, right? Because I use the snap points. So what I'll do, I'm going to trim that. So click on my trim tool, hit enter. And then what do I need to trim? I need this one and I need this one and I need this one too. Now this one here, what I'll do, I'm going to use my, uh, what is it called here in Corel CAD? It's fillet. It's the same thing in in uh, AutoCAD. Okay, so we're gonna fillet that. So I click on my fillet tool. Okay, command window says uh, specify first entity. Okay, uh, but before that, I'm going to put a radius. So I type in R for radius. Hit enter. See the default here is zero, which it won't make a radius because it's zero. So I, I'll try to put point one. And I'm not, because I haven't measured the image, so I'm not sure. But anyway, we just type in one first, and then now it's asking the first point, a first entity, and the second one. There. So that's one, right? So I'm going to click on undo, or control Z. So that's one. So I'm thinking it would be three, right? Three radius. Did it go three or point three? We can actually see it from here. Oh, I click on undo already. But anyway, I fill that uh, R for radius. Oh, I can see it here. So we go three radius. Is it three or point two? I'm not sure. Anyway, first entity here, and then second entity. Yeah, no. See, it's uh, it's fillet radius 
it's no valid fillet radius because it's too big. So I think I put in 0.1 before, so it has to be 0.3. Okay, anyway, let's go to fillet here and then type in R for radius and type in 0.3, hit enter. So this is my first point here and then my second point over here. Very good, it's very nice. Okay, so I've got that ready. Now if you notice this one, this is actually in CorelDRAW you call it contour, but I'll in here I'll call it offset. Okay. So let's let's use the offset tool. So now it says here if I click on offset command window is asking for a distance. Okay, so what I'll do here because I don't know the measurement, right? Because I'm just tracing the image. So what I'll do, I will uh, type in D for distance. Right? So I'll make it distance from here. Okay, as long as it's in that line. And then I'll put it in this line here. Okay. Now it says you specify source entity. So what object do I want to offset? So I want to this line, this line, this line. So I'm going to do this first. So click on this. And then which side? So it's going out. So it's like contour going out, not inward in Corel Draw. So I'll click on over this side here. Very nice. Now I can do it still. I can click on this one and go out. This line go out. This line go out. This line go out. This line out. This line go out and this line go out. There. Okay. So that's easy. So now I'm going to trim that. So you click on your trim tool here. Hit enter. And then Okay, it says here segments to remove, so I'm going to remove this segment, this segment. Oh, see, it's here too. So this one and then this one. 